are having a march against Monsanto. Monsanto is a chemical company and they produce genetically modified seeds. We're here today um, to march against them and get the information out to the people. At the very least, uh, we believe that food should be labeled. If it's a genetically modified food, we deserve to know. And um, yeah, that's what we're doing here today. There's not enough research done by independent, non-biased uh, researchers to prove that it's safe. Um, there's been studies done in other countries that it causes health problems and cancer in rats, and um, it just makes the uh, the pesticides have to get stronger to fight the weeds that are happening, and it's. Uh, GMOs are banned in a lot of the European countries and um, they do require labeling of their products. A lot of the dyes that are put in the foods are banned as well. Um, it's kind of strange that in our country, you know, the United States, the labels, I mean, even a mattress has to have a label on what's inside of it when you're sleeping on it, but our food isn't labeled to let people know. It, it doesn't make much sense to me. If it's a GMO free product so that it's very clear for people, so when they're at the grocery store and they're looking at, you know, two different things, and one's GMO and one's not, that they can make an informed decision on which product they want to buy. percent of the corn that is in the United States is a GMO corn and a lot of the soy is as well which soy and corn are in so many uh, packaged foods and chances are if you're eating something with the soy or the corn it's it's probably a genetically modified. Do you want to know if it's GMO? Do you want to know if it's GMO? Yes I want to know if it's GMO. Yes, I so who wants to know if it's GMO? Who wants to know if it's GMO? We want to know if it's GMO. We want to know if it's GMO. There's a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables that are GMOs, and that is why, and a lot of people don't know this, the um, if you buy something that's organic, in the United States, it's not allowed to be uh, from a GMO seed. So if you buy something that's certified organic, um, you know that it's not GMO. Or, um, you know, if you buy, like say you get a, a cheese or something that, that's organic cheese. Anything that is a, a certified organic product, you know, doesn't have the, the GMO or the pesticide. <laughs> Like organic farmers have to have their fields so far away from anybody that uses the pesticides or GMO seeds so that that cross contamination doesn't happen. Um, in a regular farming situation, if a farmer doesn't have a you know, purchase license on the GMO seeds from Monsanto, 
they will take them to court and they will sue them. It's affected a lot of farmers. Farmers have lost their entire, you know, their livelihoods uh, being sued over uh, cross-contamination from, from GMO feed. They tell us that the GMOs are the way to make food more resilient, uh, growing and thriving and you know, all of these things they tell us that we need these things. Um, but in reality, other countries grow enough food for their population and it's, they're not using these GMOs or the pesticides like we do. It's a vicious cycle. When you're using a GMO seed, you're growing this mutated crop and um, these super weeds happen. They have to spray stronger and stronger pesticides. The Roundup used to be, you know, kind of the go-to and now they're having to make stronger things to spray on them to kill these weeds. And it's just, it's a vicious cycle. I mean, I don't foresee it stopping unless change happens. And um, I really, really hope that change is that we get rid of GMOs altogether, but at the very least. GMOs are created in a lab. GMOs are created using a, I mean, they're manipulating and making things a way they're not supposed to be. They're putting enzymes in to kill bugs that are naturally going to eat something. I mean, that's nature. Bugs eat things. And to put a an enzyme in or a you know pesticide in a food to kill a bug and then we're supposed to put it in our bodies it, it's different from like the the crossbreeding the seeds